This is the two dice calculator for masscelebrity.com. To get to the calculator, you can get there a few ways. You can type two dice, or there's a few uh, roll names or roll shortcuts that you can use, and I'll show you those in a moment. So let's type two dice first. So here's the calculator interface. These are all the things you can do to calculate the probabilities of something happening with a pair of dice. So we'll start with the first line here. Some of the two dice you rolled is equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to, any of these numbers here. So we'll start with one of these. We'll say, let's say the sum of the two dice you rolled is greater than 8. So it'll be 9, 10, 11, or 12. So as you can see, we start at 9, and we show you all the different combinations. So we have 9, 9, 10, 9, 10, all the ways. So there's 10 ways out of a possible 36. So here's our grid for each roll and the probability. We add those all up. And then we use our greatest common factor calculator. So we can simplify this by dividing 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. So it's 5 out of 18. Or in percentage terms, 27.78. So fairly simple to use on the first line. Now we could have said greater than or equal to 10. So now it's going to be 10, 11, or 12. That's 6 out of 36, which is 1 sixth, which is 16.67. So you, you get the picture. You choose from any one of these five drop downs and then your dice total. Now the second line you can have the sum or the product of the two dice you rolled is even, odd, prime, or non-prime. So let's say the product of the two dice you rolled, let's say, is odd. So we'll go ahead and run that calc. So we list all the products. We have 1, 3, 5, 3, 9, 15, 5, 15, 25. So there's nine ways of possible 36, which is the probability. Simplified, that's one-fourth, and that's a 25% chance. Now, what if we had ran that same calculation, but we said evens? So now we get 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all the different combos. As you can see, there's a lot more combinations of even products than there are odds. So it's 27 out of 36, which is 3 quarters, which is 75%. And again, the nice thing is no matter what scenario you run, it shows you the dice combinations. So now let's go to the third line, because I think the second line is pretty straightforward. Or the two faces on the die were identical, different, both even, and both odd. So we'll say the two faces on the die were different. So 1 and 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. And then we'll go 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. So we're not going to have 2 and 2. We're not going to have snake eyes. 3, 1, 3, 2, etc., etc., all the way through 6. So there's 30 out of 36 possible ways you can do that, which is 5 out of 6. And percentage-wise, that's 83.33%. So let's scroll back up. And instead of both even, let's say... Oh, I'm sorry, different. Let's say the two faces on the die were both odd. We'll try that button. So again, one and one, one and three, one and five, three, one, three, 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 five. Again, they're both they both have to be odd. So there's nine out of thirty-six possible ways, which is one fourth, twenty-five percent. Again, line three of the scenarios very straightforward. So now this button, actually, we were asked this problem on a programming form, so I'm going to show you this real quick, the sum table. So we built this kind of to show programming, uh, and you can see the link here. If you add the two totals, 4 and then 3 is 7, 4 and 4 is 8, that's just, just kind of a summation grid. Um, you'll see that sometimes on extra credit problem, problems or programming problems. Next is roll a a sequence of numbers or a group of numbers. So let's change these numbers around. Let's say we have 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, or 11. And we'll press roll A. We should have 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, or 11. How many ways can we do that? So we have 3s, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
scroll, go back up real quick, scroll a little bit slower. There's all the ways we can roll those five numbers. 17 out of 36, that does not simplify to a lesser fraction, and we have 47.22%. Finally, sorry, we have two more buttons. So divisible by any one of these numbers. So let's say 2, 3, 5, and 7. So you pick each number that you want to divisible by and separate them by, the, by a comma. So press divisible by. So the sum of our dice is divisible by 2, 3, 5, or 7. So here's all the ways you can do that. Keep scrolling. 34 out of 36 ways, which is almost all of them. 17 out of 18, 94.44% chance that the sum of your die is divisible by 2 or 3 or 5 or 7. So finally, Monte Carlo trials. So you can pick any number in here. We'll do 50 and we'll simulate Monte Carlo trials. So what this does is it's going to roll a pair of dice however many times you tell it. In this case 50. Think about it as random rolls. So instead of you having to sit in your dorm room or your office and roll the die 50 times and record it, we do that for you. So and we, we sum this up. So the sum of the dice 8, they happen 8 times. Some of the dice equal to 11, that happened three times. And we kind of sum up your probabilities and percentages here, and then we show you each random Monte Carlo trial. So here's 50. So what if we were to run 50 Monte Carlo trials again? Are we going to get the exact same numbers? No, absolutely not. This time, some of the dice equal to 4 happened 6 times, 2 happened 2 times, etc. And again, we have a completely random set of 50 rolls again. So go ahead, scroll down, scroll down, and there's our 50 rolls. And again, this number can be any positive number that you want. So that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions for this lesson, by all means use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.